Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It's greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do is I need for you to go to the refrigerator and make a sandwich for me, as always. And then you can come back and give me that good energy by clicking that like button. You can comment, you can share, you can subscribe, make sure you click that bell notification, just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well here at Talia's Tarot. So, I'm going to go slap down the zooli water, I got kitty boom boom at my feet, she's resting, she's so cute when she's sleeping, she's sweet when she looks so sweet, when she's awake it's a different story. <laughs> Most of you know that. Uh, I'm sure the new subscribers, you guys will figure that out too. So, you know what time it is, baby. Mm. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T. T. No, presiding. You can all keep eating your sandwich. So, we're going to check on the energy of the person you're dealing with. Or whatever energy could be approaching you. It could be your own energy for all I know. Mmm. Excuse me. Mmm, excuse me. Avocados and caramelized onion belch. <laughs> uh, whatever the case is, we will get it, we will hit it, and we will quit it together like we always do, baby. Yeah, yeah. I gotta get my breath to decompress. Just give me a minute here. All right. Show me the energy. To okay, right on. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful Okay, right on. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful Okay. All right, Pisces. All right. All right, Pisces. I'm going to pull out my sword here. Okay. We've got the Ten of Pentacles here, Ace of Swords, Page of Wands, Four of Swords, King of Swords. The overall energy here for the reading is the Queen of Pentacles here. This could be your energy or your person's energy, okay? Uh, whatever the case is, it's a grounded energy. It's a loyal energy. Um, and it's somebody who, you know, is very sharing and very caring, very abundant. On the negative side, the Queen of Pentacles has a tendency to be looked at as a little bit lazy. Pisces. Somebody is really just trying to trust here that everything is going to be okay. All right. You got somebody here that wants to see you. All right. They want to get together here. Whatever the case is, this person is, they've been crying. Something got broke here. Something's broken, they feel. And they're very sad over what is broken here. All right. And I feel like they're friends here or maybe even they're animals um, have been trying to comfort this person about this situation. Um, Pisces, something here. This person feels like they need to get on their knees here and basically kiss the donkey's booty here, okay? So somebody needs to, uh, start, you know, you know. <laughs> somebody might need to start kissing your butt here to make up for something here, all right? But you do have... Some kind of truth here that is coming in. So, you know I like a good sword fight here at Tally's Tarot. So, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get into um, what's broken here that this person's been crying over. What's been broken that they're crying over? What has been broken? Oh, shoot. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's I would be crying, too. Okay. The universe. Something's happened here. They got a tower thrown here at them. Okay. The universe... Uh, through a tower. So what's this tower about here, please? What's this tower about, please? What's this tower about, please? Sure. Oh, boy, Pisces. Oh, boy. What I'm getting here, 
is this person was trying to uh, force you into some kind of situation here. Okay? A passionate situation. They came off aggressive here. And basically the universe is like, you can't really force... Pi you can't be aggressive with Pisces here. Okay? Especially if they were trying to physically connect with you here. And they were... I'm sensing some kind of... They were like a lot of love bombing here. A lot of love bombing here. Okay? And they thought that this... This love bombing was going to seduce you and get get make them get what they want. But they were forcing it when they should have been taking it slow, taking it easy, okay? Maybe, you know, lubing up the broom a little bit here, right? Because she is putting lubrication on the broom. And here your person is, okay, crying because the broom got broke. There they are. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you probably, yeah, the universe will throw you a tower when you don't do things with ease. And it seems like this person didn't do things with ease. They were forceful, okay, for whatever reason. Oh, boy. But they cried. They did. They cried. This person did cry. And now this person feels like they're stuck between a rock and a hard spot. Okay? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I can appreciate that. I got a lot of energy that's moving through me. A lot of air right now, guys. Mm. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. So, how do they plan on making up here with Pisces? There's the Queen of Pentacles. That's what's going on here with the Queen of Pentacles for how they plan on making up. Okay, what was that? Okay. Okay. Okay, so they're going to reach out to you, okay? They're going to make up to you, all right? But they're still, it's like they're going to take things slower, all right? But this person still is a little bit of a, a de there's something here, there's a deceptive energy here about how they're making up. What's this deceptive energy here for why they're trying to make up with Pisces? What's this deceptive energy, please? Show me this deceptive energy. There's still deceit behind this. It's coming through here, though, that you're going to see this. So, when they come back to kiss the donkey, okay, you, you're the donkey in this reading today. Yes, you are, Pisces. <laughs> oh, the court, Pisces is not a donkey. Uh, in this reading, Pisces is a donkey. Burro, yeah, okay. So, you are the burro. So, what's coming through, there's a deceptive energy here, Pisces. But you're going to pick it up. You're going to see it. Okay? You're going to see it uh, clearly as day here. Okay? So, you're going to know. Intuitively, it's saying to trust your intuition here. Okay. Um, so, what's this, what's this person trusting that everything is going to be okay? What's the situation about that they're trusting everything is going to be okay? So they're like, okay, well, I know I'm still going to see Pisces here. I'm trusting that I'm going to see Pisces here. So why are they trusting they're going to see Pisces? Why are they trusting they're going to see Pisces? Okay. Because it's like there's something about you here. Something that's unusual. I don't know. It's giving me you're very unusual to this person. I don't know what that energy is, but you're very, very unusual. And they're just like, I'm trusting I'm going to see Pisces again. I know I am because Pisces is unusual. Why, why in the world do they think Pisces is unusual? Why do they think you're unusual? 
Oh, yeah, you are. You're showing up hermit energy here. Okay, you're unusual. You're mysterious, Pisces. You're very mysterious. Even the way you dress. This person likes the... The way you dress is unusual. Okay? But this person feels like you're... You're very spiritual. You're very enlightened. You're very quiet. And it's like this person finds you to be a bit of an enigma here. Okay? So they're like, okay, I know I'm going to see Pisces again. Pisces is unusual. Something special about Pisces. Pisces is like nobody I've ever seen before. Okay. All right. But there's so, so, still a deceptive energy there, Pisces. But you're going to see it. Okay. So I don't know. You're going to have to take your situation. Um, you're going to know your situation. So what's this uh, celebratory energy that this person wants to celebrate? Top to bottom. Show me the celebratory energy. What's top to bottom? Show me the celebratory energy that this person wants to celebrate with Pisces. They want to sell something from the past. What is this past energy that they want to celebrate? I feel like... There's a gift that you gave them. You guys exchanged gifts. And whatever gift that you guys shared with each other, it's like they're, they look, this is the celebratory energy. This is the celebratory energy. They did something with this gift. They put it out, or maybe you put this gift out. But they want you to recognize that they like this gift. I don't know what the gift is. I'm getting it something physical. It's something tangible here. Maybe you gave them a crystal. Maybe they gave you a crystal. Maybe it could be a multitude of things here. I don't know what this is. But this gift that you gave each other, there's something here. You could have gave them, I don't, they want to celebrate this. They want you to see that they really like this gift. A lot. Okay. Okay. So this person wants to get down to the core of the matter of the truth. So what is this person's core truth here? They're changing. What's changing about this person? This person's emotions are changing here. So what is it about this person's emotions that are changing? What is it? They don't want to juggle anymore. This person doesn't want to juggle anymore. They don't want to juggle. Why don't they want to juggle anymore? Why don't they want to juggle? Because they... they they want something, they, they, it's like they just want it to, to, to be done. They're like, I don't want to juggle anymore. I want to end juggling. So, and we got, you know, what comes after Ten Swords is the Ace of Swords. So, you got somebody here that's speaking your truth here, okay, that doesn't want to juggle anymore. There's something they're juggling, though. What's this energy that they've been juggling? What's this energy... It's just telling me they want to get to the point. What's the point? What's the point? The point of the matter is, is they want to connect. Wow. I, I'm telling you guys, the way I, that was pretty intense. Woo, doggy. Okay. All right. I'm going to drink some holy water, guys. And then I'm going to do uh, the white sage, clear it on down with watch slide, drag it. I'm going to do channel messages, and we're going to do one card for each sign. So if you've left already, thanks for stopping by. Because I know some people don't like all the other stuff. They just like the reading. So thank you for just showing up for the reading. Uh, for everybody else, we're going to get into it. What else do you want to tell Pisces? 
what else do you want to tell Pisces? Yeah, they're very attracted to you here, Pisces. And this person here, okay, this person is wanting things to be smooth here with the two of you here. Excuse me. Oh my God, Pisces, excuse me. Okay. Yeah, and this person's just trying to trust that they're going to see you again because you're unusual and they like the way you dress. Okay. Channel messages. Channels. What was that? Okay. I love you. Channel messages. Okay. Give a dog a bone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what was that? I love your eyes. Okay, Pisces. Okay, we're going to get the kitty boom booms for Jesse. Meow, meow, meow. I haven't seen Jesse in a while. Jesse, I hope you're doing okay. Pisces dealing with Pisces, sure. Pisces dealing with Pisces. I want to get the bigger deck of this. Get the bigger deck. Okay, what was that? They've been thinking about you. Cancer, how do you feel about Pisces? Sure. They want to scratch on your scratching post. Scorp! Sure. Scorpio desires you. Um, Aries. Okay, Aries thinks you are very, very attractive. La la Leo, la la Leo. La 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 Leo. Leo. Okay, Leo. You guys are not talking. Sag. Sure. Okay, Sagittarius hasn't told you they're in love with you. Uh, Libra. Libra. I'm hot. I almost want to put on shorts. Libra walked away. I know. Short sounds weird, right? Uh, Gemini. Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini. Gemini, sure. Okay, it looks like you guys are talking or they're going to reach out to you. Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh, my goodness. Aquarius? Sure. Okay. Aquarius feels like you've been busy with work. Virgo? Virgo. Virgo. Virgo, oh boy, there's one, they're carrying a heavy load, but it's like they still aren't giving up here, uh, Taurus, Taurus, you guys are not talking, uh, Happy Cappy, um, Capricorn is confused, so, Thank you for joining me on another episode of As the Fish Swims. These are the tales of your fins. Tara's adjourned.